Okay. We're in Wobbly, Alabama at the abandoned train depot that was built in 1906. And they finally closed up in 1964. And they've been on the National Registry of Historical Places since 2011. So it's a shame that the city of has not done nothing with the place of like restoring it. I was here two years ago and didn't do a video, but did a little bit of walk around, but they had a whole bunch of keep out signs everywhere. And uh, so we're just gonna do a walk around because we did notice inside the building, they've blocked it off, a bunch of it. So, yeah. like I said, the part that was first started the video was where you went in and got your ticket and you sat down in the lobby waiting for the train to show up. And this right here is where people picked up the merchandise that came in on the train so the platform right here has been taken away i figure it used to be wood and uh so but you can tell it was built on the spanish architect style and no telling how much money it cost them to build this back in 1906. Right now we're on the north side of the building and you could see where you could pick up your cargo here too when it got off the train. So I'm just doing a slow walk around. And like I said, I'm not going to go in. Uh, we looked and they have boarded up uh, from the inside of the door. The rooms that you used to be able to go into is all boarded up now, big time. So, but here's the loading dock and the receiving dock. So, you gotta excuse the outhouses. By the way, when this place was built, they didn't have indoor plumbing. There was outhouses out here for people to use. And down the track at Highway 77, and it crosses the Tallapoosa River. So, which goes over into Georgia. Um, but like I said, when you go inside that door right there, to the right or to the left, they have boarded it off, so you can't go into none of the main rooms anymore. So, but there's the little door. The passengers would walk out to get on the train. So. I hope this is showing up on the camera. It's brick and mortar, the walls are. And uh, behind these two doors or windows is where you'd sit and wait for the train to show up. So, then when that train did show up, they would put them little portable steps out here by the track and the train and you stepped on them and stepped up into the train and i'm gonna walk this way a little bit going north up the tracks goes up into georgia
and it had the Spanish style roof on it. I don't know if you can pick up the red or not. It's got a lot of vines growing up on top of that roof. But you can see the chimney. They only had one heater. And this whole big train depot. So you better have a coat on in the wintertime or a short sleeve shirt in the summertime. Cause they're gonna be hot in there. No AC. So no. But they did have electric in the place. Cause right there on the wall is where the meter was. Right there. I'm trying to get closer. Right there. So the place did have power. So, any old way, that's, this is gonna be the, one of the short videos that I've done. So, and it's been a while since I put the update video of the furnace, Civil War furnace, down there in, on Wise Lake in Alabama. So, but this is a small town of Wobbly, and in a few minutes, we're going to go up and walk part of the downtown, and you'll see how much of it's actually closed down. No business. And there's like one restaurant in a gas station here in this town. Oh, and they've got a college, which I can't understand being a college town and there's no restaurants you know besides the one at the gas station so this is how it looks right here so give us a few minutes and we'll be back up on main street okay hey guys we're back here still in the town though wobbly alabama and what we're doing now main street we're right now by the post office they took the flag in a while ago when we first got into town and so they're closed for the day so and you'll be able to see how closed down this town is especially on main street uh, we're coming up on where there used to be two buildings and they took two of them out of here see look at the side of that building yeah for the one building that was right there where the red brick is and this was a separate building so they, they took two buildings out here and uh, but at one time I guess that you could enter this other business here before they took the building out and uh, this is across the street right now and uh, I think you got a beauty parlor Huh? Waste it up. I am. That looks like all it is. Yeah, it's on that little window over there too. So I'm glad that guy didn't mind us walking past him. You didn't see that guy sitting there. Yeah, I did. I like that. He went, I went first. Oh. Oh, there's a pool hall. He needs his pool. I don't know about a pool hall. It's a pool table. Yeah, there's a pool table here in this store. 
From the skeleton on the wall, it looks like a biker. Mm -hmm. Pool hall. Um, we'll see what else. Oh, they also got a log cabin up here. When you turn left on Highway 77 to the right is a log cabin. It was moved there. When we get over there. <laughs> all humbug. Look at all the Christmas stuff. In this place. Oh, a man made Santa Claus from the good old days. <laughs> and they still got their pumpkin for Halloween out. Uh huh. The Thrifty Lizard. Okay, that's the name of this place. Yeah, Having lights off, Sal? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But then, as we, you wind up over and you're looking at the first bank, and then this is where we were a while ago filming the train depot you have to look way down there and i may not be able to pick it up with a camera so a lot of steps over there <laughs> at least my hip ain't hurting <laughs> It took a while for that shot to work in my hip. And I'm glad it did. And I don't know, you can see this historical farmer's bloom. Yeah, where roots run deep, 1907. They started that in 1907, where the roots run deep. Future Blooms. I guess they hold a festival here. Now we're gonna get close to the log cabin. I remember correctly, somebody told me they hadn't moved this here from another location years ago. So, We'll see if we can go up on the front porch of it. Maybe we won't get arrested. So. Huh? I thought you meant that sign there. I don't know if they're decorated still for Halloween or for Turkey Day. Well, I don't want to fall, so. And here's Ma and Paul Kettle and one of their daughters and son riding into town to the festival. So. And here's the front of the log cabin. The only windows I've seen that used to be there is on the one side. So. I guess they didn't want a lot of fresh air in the place. Unless there used to be a window on this back side here. And my camera's shaky. It's caught in my deal that stabilizes the camera. 
one hay wire so I couldn't use it today. I'm gonna have to figure out what's wrong with it. But, <laughs> yeah, this used to be a door here. I don't know if I hold the camera up. Can you guys see in there? Cause I can't. Okay, I guess we'll find out how that turned out. <laughs> so, oh, that's David right there, by the way. Hello. Yeah, he's got a roof right there, so this was a big door, probably. Or a window. I don't think it was a garage door. No, I don't either. It's a wagon door. There's a sign you were going to sign. Yeah. And. There's their city gazebo up by their, I guess your the city park. <laughs> yeah. Well, that tells about the city. Oh, yeah. so, now believe it or not, I want to cross the road. I'm gonna see what the chicken's doing on the other side. Why he hasn't crossed it yet? So, bear with us. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you the sign for the town of Wobbly. And you can pause. I hope it does turn out that you can see it. So, and take a frame shot of it, screenshot. Okay. Hey, like that old house. Yeah. That's very nice. Police station right on the other side it was. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna go <laughs> back down Main Street again. Yeah. Gonna have to get out of the road. They got a tra traffic jam going. One red. Yeah, one truck. <laughs> One truck just pulled through town, caused a crack traffic jam. Uh, Walmart's coming the other, other way. Yeah. So, these you guys are getting. A good bird's high view of the main street. That's the side of the street we was on a while ago. And now we're slowly walking back. At least it ain't steps. <laughs> you gotta show the back road plan, man. <laughs> you want a freebie, huh? Oh, well, my bad about saying there was only one restaurant in this town at the gas station. There's a JB's Butt House. I bet it's barbecue. It, open it, up. It, might, it might be open already. I don't know. They're cleaning the windows. Oh. All right. You just open it up. Doing a YouTube show. Well, that JB's butt house is supposed to open at the first of the year, so they're not even officially opened yet. But they're out there uh, 
trying to get things ready and cleaned up. I didn't have a card to give him. They're in my coat pocket. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, you in here yeah. Yeah. I was planning on it. I gave them two guys in the pickup truck two cards and the girl at the gas station one. Trying to gain subscribers. Um, and hopefully they're friends. Uh, well, yeah, this used to be something since I was following that. <laughs> Oh yeah. I was figured it had to be something. I bet there was a probably a trailer there. A store. That's what I figured. And that was a pole like that, that'd be yeah, a, that's true. That'd be a trailer. Yeah, it'd be a Walmart. Maybe that's where they're gonna put the Walmart. <laughs> so Ramo to the end of Main Street, and then we're gonna walk back up to the van and call it a day for this little town. And uh, I'll maybe try to start uploading this video later tonight when I get home. So. They're having a roof sale. <laughs> yeah, here you. They'll cut it to any thickness you want. Yeah, I think this store is closed. Or they're making it for little people and lowering the ceiling. So it's hard to see in there. But the roof has collapsed on it. So it won't be too much longer, they'll probably take this building out. And there'll be another empty lot to put up a parking lot. So, and here's a store. Have no idea what it used to be. You can't even see in. They got curtains over the whole thing. And on the corner, I think this corner here used to be where they sold fish and things aquariums so well I don't think they sold dolphin fingers here <laughs> no. but they've got it where you can't even look in so now we're going back across the street maybe as long as I don't see no vehicles coming and there's a vehicle coming stand right there Dave you'll get a bird's eye view of it yeah, okay. <laughs> now as we this gas station here looks like it's closed down and I don't know if this was part of that gas station or not. It looks like it was. I see a counter on the far side. So, I don't know. I'm... Well, that one. And this is the payphone right here. Just put $5 in any one of them slots and you'll have one minute of talking. See? So, let me move on now to the next building. And this place looks like it's closed too. Now, I think this place had something to do with a funeral home. <laughs> oh, 
I've only seen them at funeral homes. So, well, that's a pretty big store. And here's a store. And here's another store closed down, as usual. Yeah, can't even get in. I don't have the combination. So, and I'm not picking up a brick off the street for the combination. And here's the next store. Oh, it's closed up too. So no telling what it used to be. Then we're back at the empty lots where years ago there was buildings here so and like I said here comes the post office up and this will be the end of this video main street and wobble and, <laughs> and it's brought to you by the bama boy show on youtube i'm larry and that's dave all right so hope everybody have a good day and a good weekend and we'll talk at you later y'all come back now here